Hey guys, how's it going? Simple Clutch here, doing part 6 of our Attitude Era mode. We just failed epically and I missed out on all the unlockables. We're not doing the historic bonus objectives, but here we go. Part 6, I think we're done 10 out of 12 or something in the DX story. Um, but either way, it's pretty cool, so let's head on to the next event and see what happens. The incident in Montreal oh. saw the controversial Back to departure this. of Bret Hart and the introduction of WWE's greatest villain... Mr. McMahon. I truly believe that Bret Hart screwed Bret Hart. I have no sympathy for Bret. Every villain needs a hero to battle, and the perfect match for Mr. McMahon was a foul-mouthed blue-collar redneck from Victoria, Texas. Talk about your psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. He's a rattlesnake and he'll strike anybody he wants to. Anytime you stick your head in the ring with Steve Austin, the bottom line is I'm going to kick your ass. He doesn't give a damn about anybody or anything. Vince McMahon sits over there. The arrogant piece of trash he is. I don't think Austin's going to be employee of the month. I'll tell you who I am, all right? Mr. Austin, I'm your boss. That didn't impress me one bit. And frankly, I don't give a damn. Royal Rumble's rolling around, and the word in the locker room is that everybody's got it for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-uh, that's not gonna work. Austin, it's a mark man! Steve Austin strikes first, and that's the bottom line. You see, everybody in that damn locker room's got a pager. And everybody that's looked at that pager sees the 316, so their ass belongs to me. Austin wants to fight the world! He's crazy! Steve Austin is going to do it to others before they do it to him. You say I'm a marked man, I say you're full of you-know-what. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. thought this is a DX story. Why is it giving me the... The Stone Cold thing. Maybe we're going against them. That'd be kind of cool. I remember Sean went against Stone Cold or something, and Mike Tyson was a special ref. I don't even know he won the match, but still cool. We now shift over to the rapid ascension of Stone Cold Steve Austin. What are we just? Is this done? Is this is this the end of DX's story? Or maybe that means I had nine of twelve unlockables. That was just the end of the story. Is this is this Stone Cold? I think it is. This is Stone Cold. This is not Part Six of DX. <laughs> that is very misleading. Win the Royal Rumble, perform the Thunder on the Rock, and win after eliminating at least three opponents. Okay. Remember what's at stake. The okay, that's a Stone Cold story. I guess I I ended the DX story the really badly. WrestleMania <laughs> 14, the biggest event of all time. Right. And that rug has been yanked right out from under Stone Cold Steve Austin. We haven't seen him yet because wow. he's been taken out. I that's just weird. Know it. Well, if that's the truth, it's going to be a heartbreak. Man, man. Ooh. What? That's Attitude there, Stone Cold. This it's is cool. Stone Cold is here. Hell, how did Austin Let's get task Austin one done. Let's start off Stone Cold's uh, nice story guy. with uh, <laughs> actually success. I, I kind of feel well, like the DX story is left like Cold's unfinished. I mean, I barely did. Uh, I mean, I, like, I didn't even tell you that happens to Sean or Triple H, and I don't know, it was, it was a good story, but, like, we didn't learn all that much. It, I mean, I know they have so many stories to work on that, you know, it's hard to really get in-depth with it, but they could have done some more. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been a little bit better. If this is the end, maybe... I don't think it is. I think this is uh, Stone Cold's part one, but... Why can't I hit my signature now? Well, that is stupid. Are you kidding? I'm sitting here hitting, like, run and, and, and finisher, or signature, whatever, the whole time. It doesn't happen. It's not happening. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, I'm the DX guy. He freaking ruined that tag match for me. No, you can't eliminate him. I gotta hit the stunner on him. Yeah. Bam. Now get out. Oh, Henry has a counter. Ooh. 
This is back when he was like weightlifting a lot more than he is now. Focusing that attack on the leg area. Why'd you have to ruin it, Rock? Get out. Bradshaw looking to dish out some pain here. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Great quickness. Oof. Is that JBL? Yeah, Bradshaw. <laughs> That's cool. Can't believe you concussed. He might be going. Look at the intensity. He's out. As they now that is strong. How dare you, Rock? Get out of here. Shamrock You're not going to WrestleMania. I won it three times. I can't believe people didn't complain position. that Stone Cold won it three times. Like if Cena won it three times, Nobody's like he's won it once, here. but if he won it two more times, you would never hear the end of it. Ever. Uh, if, if Sheamus won it two years in a row again, or even won it three times, no one would, you know, it's so different nowadays than it was back then. Like people, like Bruno Samantir, I don't even know what his name is, but one of, he had like championship for like three years or four years or some stupid amount, and yet people don't complain. And then someone like Cena has the title for a year and people hate him for the rest of his career. It's like people are either really impatient now or I don't know what it is, but no, we're getting out of here. Sorry, J. Frick off, Rock. Like, Jesus. You ruined WrestleMania 28 for me. Could you do much more? A spectacular counter by Stone Get out. Steve Austin. Been Get beaten. out. Why won't you just leave the damn ring? Like, I'm freaking Irish whipping him. Or, or shoving him over the ropes. And yet, nothing I do seems to want to work. Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Get in the corner. Or over there. There you go. Awful You're out. Look out! Boom. Stone Cold Steve Austin is fighting for his life in this match. The rattlesnake is cooking for gas. I don't here. get any buttons. There we go. Right. Yeah, he's right. He's stating. Oh, too bad. JBL's already gone. Damn. Get so out of here. You never know when or Damn. Where you're get from. Damn. That's what I say to that. Yeah, Stone Cold story is a little bit cooler than DX is so far, mainly because we're doing a Rumble match, but I, I know I announced it as part of DX's story uh, to begin, but, you know, they didn't tell me, you just transitioned seamlessly, like just cut off all of a sudden from DX's story. Maybe because I missed those historical moments is why it ended so abruptly, but that's stupid. Okay. Twenty-nine is on the way, and what an advantage he'll have! And that attack was dodged. And here comes the dangerous Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Fuck. Sure Sorry, my pardon my damn language, but this frickin' guy looks so stupid oh, and ruined the DX story for me. Well, I know it's my fault for botching that stupid thing, but. Like, gee, she'll introduce something right at the end of a story. If I get out, I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah, get away, you stupid man. I know I sound like what Chris Jericho was calling Cena a stupid man at SummerSlam 2010, but still. Get out. Oh. Just leave, please. Farouk is an athletic freak. And he's absolutely there we go. He's That's what he deserves. Get out. Now all I do is win the rumble. I'll keep my finisher stored. Who's coming out at number thirty? Oh, man, what, a, what a shot to the face! Good luck. Ready to go. Yeah, get out. He's gonna win. Everybody in this match wants Austin out. They might want him out, but one and doing are two different things. Hey, the announcing's a lot better in this mode. I really am liking it. Oh, I botched. And I botched. Oh, it's my fault. He's still in this one. Get off. And that attack was dodged. Get out of my ring, man. I gotta unlock someone. Oh, okay, get out, Mick Foley. Dude love. I don't care. All your personalities suck. No, I'm kidding. I actually think he's pretty pimp. Nobody just that, that I'm just in a bad mood because of how I botched the last part of the DX story. But that's okay. 
I can go back and redo it any time. He's all wrapped up there in the ropes, just trying to hold on. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Aw. Oh. Just get out. Uh-oh, he's getting worked over there in the corner. No, I botch. I think I know who's going to be eliminated next. There's step one. Step two. And step three. Get out, Triple H. And now you. And he's you can get out, too. That elimination Bam, Stone Cold's going to WrestleMania. What a shock. Dude, Bam. Let's start Stone Cold story mode. And I really hate how they just transition like that. They should Stone let cold. you know. Especially Stone for cold. YouTube's consideration. Oh, no. Stone Cold going to WrestleMania. It. The Texas Rattlesnake will be going to WrestleMania 14. Stone Cold was a marked man. He had to walk through broken glass to do it, but he did it. Stone Cold has won the Rumble. The toughest SOB is on his way to WrestleMania to meet the champion. Well, that was pretty cool. We'll see, is this actually part of his story mode, or, hey, yeah, no, I don't know. Let's go back to the timeline menu. Oh, got the Royal Rumble 98 arena, that's pretty cool. But like I said, I'm not impressed with the actual arena, so. Ready? Wow, this is part of his, really? That's how you end it? Really? That's the end of the story right there, and then I botched it. All right, guys. Well, this was actually not what I introduced. It. This is uh, the first part to Stone Cold's Attitude Era mode, and what a botch! What a fail! I ruined the end of the story to Rise of DX, and at the same time, ruined the beginning to Austin 316. By the way, that is part one of this. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and most of all, subscribe for more Attitude Era.